right now. That's why people are fucking playing it too. Like there's nothing else going on. You know what I mean? Uh, so smart of Blizzard to launch it right here. Um, or at this point. Here. You can wear that fancy dress? Yeah, because everybody wants to. Okay, sure. Are you going to keep the shorts on under? Yeah, mommy. I love you. I love you. I just always pictured Indy in Hawaii, so I was excited to bring her here and show her the beaches and show her the places that like we loved and show her the aloha. But I wish I haven't. I wish I didn't. We didn't come here. Hawaii was supposed to be paradise for Ariana Wyatt. <coughs> she moved here with her family in February of 2021, when her husband, a technical sergeant with the Air Force, was assigned to work at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. Their daughter, Indy, was three. Never forget for Pearl Within Harbor, brother. Within just a few months, they started getting sick. So this is just from this year. This is your medication from Mine this and year? my husband's. Wow. Space rash, migraines. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Were you guys on medication before this? No. This is all from just living here. God damn. When did you notice health problems in your family? I think early on, our cat did not want to drink the water. So um, I should have known then that something was up. For myself, it started the end of May. I started having migraines uh, pretty regularly. Um, Once again, cat supremacy. Cats are literally fucking avoiding uh, lead po or a poisoned fucking water supply. Meanwhile, the human owners are like, yeah, no, I'll drink it. Migraines I, c I can't even describe. And then um, I started having like really bad back pain and just diarrhea that would not would not stop. So um, I went to the ER. No, I don't have a problem with cats. I just think that they're assholes and their owners are sometimes cucked. Like their owners are are willingly putting up with the abuse and then acting like no such abuse is taking place. Get another example of what I mean. Are, and they found out that my kidney was swollen and they did not know why. And then for Indy, it's hard to talk about Indy. Oh, shit. One of the first things was that she was having urinary issues and we would call the doctors and they would say like, oh, just put her in the bathtub and put, you know, baking soda in there and let her sit. Around October, I started seeing like this decline in her to the point where she would be like, mommy, my legs hurt. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Like, I'm tired. Oh, God, this eats me alive. Like... She was telling me this whole time, she was telling me this whole time that she was not okay. And then the night uh, before Thanksgiving, I had taken a shower and my entire back was just like inflamed and red. I had rash all over my face. It just felt like a horrible sunburn. It was almost like, oh my, this is, this is it. The water, it's the water. That same Thanksgiving week, almost 6,000 people reported getting sick. Many went to the hospital for diarrhea, vomiting, and chemical burns. Both service members and civilians, they all had one thing in common. They lived in current or former base housing, in homes connected to the Navy's water system. Water many people were now saying smelled like gasoline. Oh, it's got a fire. How crazy. This is concerning because not only with the smell, you actually feel it, a burning feeling and itchy. But the Navy dismissed everyone's fears. In an email on November 28th, a base commander said, there are no immediate indications that the water is not safe. My staff and I are drinking the water on base. Families didn't buy it. They knew they lived close to Red Hill, an old Navy fuel storage facility. They knew Red Hill's tanks were close to the wells that supplied their drinking water. And they knew Red Hill had a history of leaks. There had been a big one in 2014, another in May of 2021, and there had just been another one on November 20th. But the Navy kept saying the leak hadn't affected the water. The tanks and the fuel are monitored on a daily basis to him. So there's no active leak. We have not lost fuel. Heavy. It's crazy to think that, like, you know, American military bases are routinely fucking doing awful shit to the areas that they exist in. Remember, this is American soil, technically, you know, now, I guess. 